Oke, okay, halo nih Gino Biasan. Welcome back to Nobren Sabar to IG Nobren Seka YouTube channel. Kali ini kita akan menonton dan reaction Onyx versus Royal Saber Sport Club di sini untuk perempat final hari keempat Game of Future Rusia ya. Setelah saya nonton RRQ sekarang Onyx dan Onik di sini menarik ya. Kairi jadi Juniper di situ. Dan Ruby selalu dipakai. Dan ada One One menarik. Oh, Kari kurang dikit. Oh, first blood. Kari terus ada lapu-lapu untuk XP play. Ini tayang malam-malam sih. Saya live stream ini jam satuan lah. Jadi saya harus nonton. Dan musuhnya ada Tolomeus di situ. Arlot juga Kari Nice Wah ini bakal snowball sih Anjir Prometheus Oh ini di pantai sih Pantes ini Kemungkinan nanti bisa aja Final RRQ versus Onyx ini Boots is on fire. Just absolutely destroying it at this point. You can see the lapu lapu shining in this game. It's just man, Onik. They they're well calculated at this point. Again, RCC. They were doing what I told that that they needed to do, right? They needed to get picks. They needed to get plays. We can see it right here. Abu and Tolomeus dapat tapi dibalik anjir. Letak semua ya. Kari juga KO Troublemaker up here. We got a 
coming from. Is it the EXP lane all the way to the right? Like, he is just bringing shockwaves into RCC's comp at this point. Every time you see an engage, he is there. He, his presence is just oh, contested, and we're seeing the turtle going to RCC. It's a good take here, right? Economically, we do see that Onik is controlling the board, but RCC is clapping back in some key areas. They're not just controlling the board economically. They're controlling the board <laughs> on the map. This jungle is there now. Anwan dapat juga di situ. Sons and Keyboy are the captains of this oh, ship. Oh God. They do wait though. Albert walks. I mean, Boots walks into the tribush. Almost gets locked up there. They're able to fend him back. Send him back to base. RCC at this point needs to be. Oh, pindah pindah posisi kah? Gotta get troublemaker to where he needs to be. One one pindah. It's B. And he's two kills behind, and that's not what you want to see at five minutes in. Kyrie over here trying to make some plays, but in the bot lane. In the bot lane, troublemaker comes Ooh. in with crossbow. He goes off, locks on to Cassie. One one. Troublemaker keeps on fighting, pushes it around, force, looking for one more hit, but can't find it. Oh, dah sakit sekali. One one. Kyrie tu minimal harus ada itu sih. Dia kan pengguna Kyrie juga kan. Namanya lupa aku cuy. Onik is letting the dog out at this point. You said RCC. Item yang nambahin hit satu kali. Right now, RCC they just need to. I I think they're they're putting too much onto the gas pedal right now. Yeah, they need to slow down. You're up against Onik, one of the most aggressive teams in the world, and Kyrie showing why under the tower, willing to take the death just for the kill. Looking rough for RCC, but that is a little bit of a win. I mean, at this point, when you're this far behind, a trade is not bad, especially if it's on the enemy jungler. It is true, and we can kind of see something a little bit different here, picking up by Sans, right? They're they're building the anti heal already, the necklace of durance, just to counter quite a bit of their team. I think it's the counter troublemaker, the shield that he gets. Um, as well as castle sustainability so they're already planning against rcc it is 12 and 3 in seven minutes right now i i like the takes right rcc attempting to take the bottom lane take that tower take as much as you okay. possibly can from onik at this point it's still only the first or the second turtle if i'm not mistaken so you still got a lord you got to find a place to to fight look at boots on the hunt, on the prowl okay. for RCC. Yeah. Nambilin semua jungle let's, let's real, untuk ngejar tweet. He does have big set potential, big play potential. They could pull off something crazy and try to turn this around. And this is what I keep saying. This is what differentiates the boys from the men. When you're three, four, five K behind, can you make the play that matters? It's really going to come down to QP here. Can he get the set of his life? It is true. And we, I mean, we've seen that in previous games. One explosion can make it or break it. But one thing that I got to point out is that Onik, they're, do, they're not really sticking together. They understand that there's a heavy spin on the board. They understand that there's an implosion on the board. And also, they have the final slash from Castle, right? So there's a lot of team control, though they're looking like they're going to stack up here to possibly take this top tower. What do they go for here? RCC just playing defense. Eddie Kandangin, saudara-saudara. Following them around, which normally I would say it'd be good to make your own plays on the board. When you're this far behind, you're just trying to staunch the blood. You're just trying to stop them from taking more. And if that means kind of following them, huddling up under your towers, that's okay because they need to buy time. It's all a strategy. Okay, bot lane did not have yang jaga. Aku ngantuk jir tiba-tiba. Your presence on the board. Get your vision. And then, like you just said, kind of corral them. If they're if they're corral corralling themselves to try to attack, just do the opposite. But it, as if you, if you keep it under the tower, then you have it's it's like six against five, right? And it the tower hits harder. Um, and again, we have 13 seconds to the next lord. This goes to show that we can see RCC is attempting to set the board, right? Onik, I like it. This is what we see Love. a lot of teams to stay mid to control the pressure of the mid lane and then take the lord and collapse in on a team when you bait them does rcc take this little bait from onik you know you mentioned anti-lifesteal earlier we got the necklace of durance from sans and now we got the sea halberd from albert as oh well albert wants troublemaker to come in there albert wants troublemaker to dive towards him so he can 
pop the second skill, CC away, you know, get the nullification, and then get the angle to pop the ultimate. Ayo, saya ngantuk ngantuk juga. He's already weak enough to where he can get the kill. So RCC needs to be careful about how they engage this. Albert had three items locked in already. Had like a 1,200 gold lead over Wiser. It's gonna be a while until Wiser can even output any major damage in this game. That is true. So Wiser's gonna definitely have to be on the back foot, right? And again, Carrie's definitely that late game hero. So RCC looking to go the long haul. They need to try whatever they can. Do we see possibly a concealed play and do something here? But you can see the mid being controlled. Onik kind of baiting the Lord at this point. This is this could be a good response. If they can take out Sans, they might have a little bit of a play. The displacement. Ooh. Because they got to go for the top lane. Sans is taking his way up to the top side as RCC Mati. tries to encroach onto the bottom. Albert taking a lot of damage. They don't give him any space to breathe. Oh, oh no. He makes it. He gets up to the top. Ooh. Of the sky and gets the kill, but he's finally taken out. Troublemaker able to take him. Castle and Albert off the field in the next fall is wiser. But Troublemaker Kyrie. still causing trouble. Making mayhem. Kyrie on the run, but Troublemaker doesn't want to let him get away. QP taken out from Sans though. Sans is making it back to the fight. Oh. Onik is re-engaging. Troublemaker in trouble once again. Kyrie forced to flicker back, but the rest of the team is there to finish the job that he started. Troublemaker gone. Nothing but one shot on the map. It's a four for one trade in the favor of Onik. That man, Albert able to get that crossbow it's hang off just in time. Like one HP. I know. And I then he was gone. <laughs> So did I. He was gone. He was, was like, he was no, he's gone. Up. He's in the sky. Watch it. Watch it here. It was literally one HP and then bam. Oh. Albert online. Crossbow Tang engaged. RCC now on the run. And Kyrie being chased here. Just putting the pressure on to RCC. And then look. The team came behind Kyrie, Onik, not leaving a man behind. Whew. They turned that, and then for a second, it felt like RCC could take that fight, could take that win if they could have just got the kill onto Albert. But those are shoulda, coulda, wouldas, and it's only <laughs> and hands, <laughs> and hands <laughs> horseshoes and hands. This is Mo Legends right here. You can't have close calls. You got to be able to finish the job, and RCC wasn't able to do it, and that's what Onik is here to do now. Yeah, and Onyx 16 and 4. They're looking to take out as much as they possibly can with this Lord. And you can already see it. If they're able to take out some of these tier 3 inhibitors that are left standing on the base, it's going to be a huge play. And they've utilized this Lord to the fullest. Now, RCC look like, looking like they're mounting a great defense. Again, we're getting into the, the 13 minute mark. Could be a little bit of a tide turner. We've seen one tick and implosion turn the tides on a Lord push like this. A nice knock up onto the back line. Going to send Castle back to the fountain to get some health. Anjir, uh, uh, going to try to zone things away. The Lord still at 50% health on it. Okay, I think I'll take it. Moving up to the top side. They're not going to try to fully engage in. They just came here for inhibitors. It's first Lord, and that is a good push in my book. Onik could stop here if they wanted to, but they're still keeping it aggressive. They're holding a lead of about 8,000 gold. They can do this if they want, as long as they're careful for QP. Yeah, and I think... We'll see if they possibly engage. Oh. They're peeling. I'm offended on a one shot. One shot gets pulled up. Troublemaker into the backside once again with the demonic force. Trying to lock onto Boots. Boots unfazed. Gets the stun on the Troublemaker himself. What well, is happening? Kyrie up in the top side. Takes an inhibitor. Castle tries to lock onto him as Troublemaker still causes mayhem in the mid side. Locking onto Boots, but now he's alone. He's left QP on his own. QP there to back up. On it got what they came for. All they lost was Albert. I mean, that's a good go. First Lord. Two inhibitors down, mid lane inhibitor almost Ooh. down, like halfway HP, like crazy. I mean, and Onyx Kyler, Kyler looking just really good. Shot at that orange buff too. Pops the oh. emote as he's walking away, disgusting no. man. No, it's like that cherry on top. He's just, they're just doing them dirty. RCC, what they really need to do? They're they're doing decent. They had an implosion, but Onyx just replied so well. 
and again i i do think that they're being baited out of their base at this point onik is like kind of slowly freezing lanes keeping them at bay eight seconds to the next lord which is why that CC, they know this is making oh, make it for them right here in round one they have to contest this lord somehow some way do oh, something watch for t-boy here watch for t-boy here one shot is able to get the heavy spin off, uh, but that is the utility gone right before the Lord fight. RCC needs to buy some time as QP tries to find an angle, but Sans and Keyboy are there to keep them away. Oh Royal no. Cyber Sport Club is just unable to do anything Conceal here. Conceal play. Clear wave, go back to base. But wait, no. Oh Keyboy, God. you're not going back to base. I'm going to get the I'm offended. I'm going to pull you in. The terrify, the knockup, and the destruction is there. The crossbow tank locks on to QP. They're going to secure the kill. Onik, get the Lord, and one more along with it. Onik, not going to slow down. We got no breaks here. There's minions on your base, and we are ready to fight. Look at Sans. Huge pressure. <laughs> just right there in the mid the lord's going to be barreling down rcc going to have to mount up the greatest defense of their life at this point onik the dog oh, there it is keyboy with the flicker in was it a good play only time will tell because troublemaker is back out he's locking on to albert he takes him down with a dunk to the face castle now on the run as troublemakers ran out of the demonic force he's gonna get knocked up tossed up the violent requiem the damage troublemaker is trying to get away but he can't do it today boots finds the monster kill the lord still coming in royal cyber esports club needs to find an answer here wiser still on the map with no damage dealer like albert left onik has to be careful the way they go in on this kyrie nobody has an ultimate except for keyboy so onik decides to back off Yeah, this is, I mean, Onik at this point, insane. Uh, but again, I was surprised that RCC was able to defend that, right? That was a, such a great play by Troublemaker to be able to lock down Albert. And that give it, it gave RCC time to breathe. This is the moment that they need to utilize to capitalize on. And again, if they could possibly take a Lord, that would give them even more breathing room. Onik needs to keep the pressure up you have the gold lead you might want to take out troublemaker because he's causing a bit of trouble yeah look at his items right now he's one item away from being fully stacked this is where royal cyber esports club needed to be exactly and again whoo what a game rcc not going down without a fight even it being 19 to 6 Right now, Onik again, kind of freezing up the lanes. I like what they're doing here. They're controlling the Lord Pits. And RCC, again, they're just trying to get as much as they can. Kind of taking a look at some of the items. Something that could be a key factor here. Again, Wanwan still doesn't even need boots at this point, which is a huge plus for them. But you got to watch out. We see that Wiser is now online. All items secure, oh, Olympic Roar, Demon Hunter, Golden Staff, and Rose Gold Meter, which will allow them to survive in a fight if need be. Kind of looking at, we see Immortalities being picked up by both sides, so it's going to be a battle, a strategic battle on who can get who. We're getting into the late game, Troublemaker actually dealing damage now with a dashy team that Onik has. The Lord is now the target. Do we see Onik maybe attempt a backdoor, or do we just completely fight over this Lord? I think we gotta fight over the Lord. Now, you were talking about the build on Wiser. War Barbie would be a happy man right now. He hated <laughs> the tank build on the carry. Well, Wiser <laughs> is bringing in the damage right now, and it does seem to be working out a little bit, but that means Wiser has to be careful could easily get one-shotted by Sans, could easily get taken out by Albert, or even Boots, if Boots is able to lock on to the back line with the Bravest Fighter, but here comes Keyboy, flickers in, use it all, just for Castle, and they find oh it, my. that's one down, and I think it's worth it, especially before Lord, but here comes Troublemaker, causing trouble, once again to the backside, pops Winter Truncheon, still able to hold up, but Boots comes in, delayed, and Albert finds the kill, the implosion on the two members, but might not be enough, RCC on the run, Albert, hold the front line, does 
take a little bit of damage. Wiser okay. has to run away. Albert able to find the double kill. Can he make it a triple? Yes. Albert now holding the front line. Maniac. Looking for the Maniac. Looking to finish things off the right way. The immortality pops. They're not going to waste any time. A Maniac for Albert to steal game number one. Okay. Abel Tito Tito is juga not bad lah ya. Onyx taking down RCC in round one here. I got to be honest. I gotta give it up to RCC. They actually. Kawan maaf betul ya yang ketiduran. Kawan juga dah pagi. Dah dah. Iki tidur dan mungkin jam dua lebih strong lagi. Aja ini telat kok. Ini masih live mereka. Dan kita langsung aja cek untuk ini ya dan ternyata tidak 100% easy tapi butuh waktu hampir late game udah late game sih hampir super late game 1-0 going dari dia untuk statistik ya. ya jadi itu untuk reaksi aja kita langsung ke game kedua let's go